Welcome to Canada! After landing in the city of Toronto, spending a few hours exploring downtown Toronto and taking the ferry to Toronto Islands, I caught the train to make my way to Montreal. Montreal is the largest city in the province of Quebec, and Quebec is one of 10 provinces in Canada. Quebec is a French-speaking province known for producing maple syrup, for hockey, and for the best poutine in the country. And I am here to meet up with a friend, but first, coffee. I ordered the cafe latte hot, just like usual. This is the same thing that I always order. It's not bad. I'm here with my friend Rizlan. I traveled all this way to see her for yeah. the first time. Maybe we'll tell you a little bit more about this story, but today we are in Montreal. So we are actually in a, a national park here in Quebec and uh, this national park is uh, one of the biggest national parks in Quebec. It's known actually by uh, the ski station okay. but we are today just to discover, try and to see uh, and to discover the place especially. Awesome, I'm really excited. This is going to be my first adventure in Canada, in Canada. with my friend Rizlan. So join us as we explore beautiful Mont Tremblant. We're checking the village right here. Looks like it's a, it's a ski town. Um, Rizlan came to this place before in summer. Yeah, in summer. It looks actually so different, uh, like between summer and winter. Mm -hmm. Now there are different activities like ice climbing and ski. Yeah. And in summer there are more, again, like other activities mm -hmm. different. Yeah. So yeah. Nice place. It's really nice. There are a lot of people that are out there snowboarding and skiing and it's got a European feel with all of the colors so you yeah. can definitely see the European influence. We loaded up on food, walked around the village and now it's time for a dessert that's very special to Canada. I'm trying maple taffy on snow. This is a very Canadian dessert where they pour some maple syrup on a surface of snow and they make this fun dessert out of it. Let's give it a try. Mmm. So good, so sweet too. <laughs> We're going to check the Scandinavian spa here near Mont Tremblant. I have no idea what to expect. My friend here, she planned the whole thing. So I'm just excited to tag along and see how this is gonna be like. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to film inside of the spa. It's prohibited to use any electronic devices, including cell phones, cameras, GoPros. They want to be respectful to everyone's privacy. And so I couldn't take any footage, but instead I'm going to leave you with some photos and videos from their website and from the internet, just to kind of give you an idea about what to expect. But they did have different pools, some of them are warm, some of them are cold. They also had access to a frozen river with a hole that you can go in and take an ice bath, which was really cool. Uh, they also had different relaxation rooms, some of them in the form of saunas, some of them with just chairs where you can go and relax. And they had different stations with water and tea, and their tea was so delicious, so you can just walk in your bathrobe and move from one location to the other while enjoying drinks like water and tea. And the overall, it was a wonderful experience. If you are looking for a way to relax and unwind, I highly recommend it. After a wonderful day yesterday exploring Mont Tremblant area, we are out here in Montreal. And my friend Rizlan is going to be my guide for the day. So she's gonna tell us a little bit more about what we have planned. Right now we are actually in downtown. We are near St. Catherine Street. So today we will be exploring downtown. Uh, St. Catherine Street like, is the main uh, street here in the downtown. We are also heading to the underground uh, mall. So actually is a is the largest uh, mall here in Can in Montreal not in Canada but here in Montreal and uh, it has a direct access to the metro station to some offices to also some buildings so yeah we're going to discover it today and maybe also head into the old Montreal where we can see the European touch
we are back to downtown Montreal yesterday was it was raining almost the whole day it was really difficult to just film while exploring and we really got so soaked so we're out here today doing a little bit more exploring yeah. where are we now Rizlan? yeah right now we are in the old port of Montreal and, and we are trying to enjoy the weather with the skating ring here there's also the first wheel so yeah having fun and later we're gonna we are also near to uh, to the old montreal yes so oh my also god also that's we're gonna, we're gonna see it again today yeah because yesterday we're not lucky to see everything old montreal is really interesting because it's got a european feel with all of the cobblestone in the streets and some european style buildings but uh, the weather here is harsh, although uh, Rizlan let me know that uh, they have something called La Semaine de Relâche. What's La Semaine de Relâche? Yeah, it's actually this, the week between uh, the winter and the spring. It's like the, the transition, transition week. Uh -huh. So usually uh, all the schools take vacation on this week. And people uh, before the COVID used to travel to the south of America. But right now, people are just stuck here in Canada. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so this week is like the last week of winter. Really? <laughs> yeah, because all the, the winter activities like skating, skiing, they all stop after this week. Mm. Because the, the, the snow starts melting and it's so difficult to maintain with the temperature which is going up. So they stop all the activities and let the, the, the snow melt. And yeah, that's it. It's amazing that uh, this is not seen to be harsh weather in Canada, even though I feel like <laughs> I'm freezing the yeah. last few days. It's amazing. Welcome travelers, I'm coming to you from downtown Montreal and I'm about to try the famous poutine. We're going to check one of the most popular places here to try poutine in Montreal, La Bonquise. Thank you so much for watching this video until the end. My name is Habiba from The Trekking Pals and I will see you soon on a new adventure.